Welcome to this installment of DEI Garage Installation Series. This video will show you the right way and some tips and tricks on wrapping pipes and headers with ExoSeries Exhaust Wrap. A few tools you're going to need to complete the install are eye protection, gloves, metal clippers, scissors, a small flathead screwdriver, pliers, a quarter inch driver, and the locking tie tool. Before you start, remove the staple from the center of the roll to allow the exoskeleton to slide around the wrap better during installation. Always start wrapping at the back and work your way forward. Start by trimming any loose fibers, then hold the end of the wrap tight against the pipe and make the first revolution with the wrap with more than the recommended one quarter inch. This will anchor the wrap and allow you to get a tight start on the installation. When it comes to mounting points or pipe joints, wrap as close as possible without interfering with the joint or the mounting point. It may be necessary to terminate the wrap at that point, add a locking tie and start a fresh piece after the joint or the mounting point. Ideally it should be wrapped as one piece, but if it needs to be done in multiple pieces, the performance of the wrap will not be affected. Periodically throughout the wrapping process, twist the wrap in a tightening motion and you can actually feel it ratchet tighter on the pipe. Work your way along the length of the pipe to tighten the wrap. When wrapping bends, be aware that you'll use more material on the outside of the bend than on the inside. Just try to keep the quarter inch overlap in mind on the outside and you'll get a professional install. Once again, work around all mounting points. Make sure to leave them all exposed for reinstallation of the pipe. Before anchoring the end of the wrap, trim off any loose fibers or excess material. When terminating the end, fold approximately a half inch of the material under and ratchet tight with your hand. This will help anchor the end of the wrap and prevent fraying. Here's a little insider's tip. To hold the wrap in place temporarily, use a plastic zip tie on the end. This will help keep everything nice and tight and allow you to use two hands when you install and secure the metal locking tie. Start the supplied stainless locking tie by inserting the end into the locking head and pulling it tight. To finish the tie install and to get it tight, insert a small flat blade screwdriver between the teeth and the locking holes. This disengages the teeth and allows you to pull the tie tight. With the screwdriver inserted, pull the end of the tie with the pliers. This will tighten the tie further, preparing it for the locking tie tool. Attach the locking tie tool to any quarter inch driver. Insert the tie into the slot on the tool and turn the tool away from the locking mechanism. This will make sure the tie is secure. Trim off the excess locking tie and fold under to get rid of any sharp edges. Now that the first stainless tie is installed, you can remove the plastic zip tie and install the second stainless tie. Following these few guidelines, you can see you'll get a great finished installation that will hold up to the most extreme conditions. For an extra protective barrier and even greater durability, coat the XO wrap with a DEI HT silicone coating. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at 800-264-9472 or at DEIPowerSports.com.